Here are my top five WordPress Gutenberg block editor utilities. Number one is this free plugin called Editor Block Outline that will let you show the structure of your Gutenberg blocks. Let's have a look at this. So I've got it installed on this site here and it comes with this panel on the right. And this lets you show basically the structure of your blocks always, the outline view. So if I click this to show always, can you see how it's actually now uh, showing me all the blocks and, the, and their names and it puts little dotted lines around it so I can see them. I can also customize things like the color opacity here. See how they're bringing those up and I can increase the padding on them as well. So when you're, when you're dealing with quite complex structures like column, the columns block, I think it's an absolutely invaluable little plugin. So there we go, that's number one. This is a really cool plugin called Find My Blocks and it does what it says on the tin. It'll help you find where your blocks have been used throughout your site and all your posts and all your pages. So this is the interface. It lists all your blocks down here on the left. You can also search by blocks here as well if you want to. Over here on the right, you can turn in this option on and off to show core blocks or also third party blocks. But then you just click on uh, a block, for example, this is the image block I've clicked on, and it's gonna tell you where it's been used throughout the site. So if I scroll down, it's gonna tell you the posts and the pages and how many times it's been used in each one as well. And also whether it's been nested in things like the column block here. So it's a really, really, really cool little plugin. If you're trying to find where you've used certain blocks throughout your site to change them or to manage them, it's a, it's a really interesting plugin. Um, you can also click here to edit the post or view the post. And as a bonus, it also, also adds this uh, menu on the left where it will list your re reusable blocks because reusable blocks are always quite hard to find. This makes it really simple. I don't know why it's not as a, a core thing anyway. So there we go. That's the Find My Blocks plugin. Right, the next one is called Detective Wapu and essentially what it does is let you look at other websites and you can see what blocks those sites are using. It comes as a Chrome extension. It's free to use and let me show you how it works. So you go to a site and on your Chrome bar at the top here you'll have this little W, can you see up there, and you click on it and then it will tell you what blocks that site is using. Now the only caveat I'd say about this, here's a few examples, is that it hasn't been updated for years, so it seems to miss some blocks these days, so it's looking for an update. But it's quite useful if you want to kind of look at the structure of another website. You can just go to that website, click on it, and it will show you, um, to the best of its ability, what blocks that site's using. This next one is called Block Navigation. Now, in the latest version of the Gutenberg plugin, there is actually somewhat similar functionality but block navigation still gives you more so this on the left this is the Gutenberg block navigator and you can do it will list all your blocks you get to it from these three lines here and it lists all your blocks and you can now drag and drop in the plugin you couldn't do this you can't do this in the core WordPress at the moment but this is coming to core so you can now drag and drop these up and down that's Gutenberg but block navigation which came before this list functionality in Gutenberg gives you the same thing so you can still drag these around like you can in Gutenberg but it gives you a few extra things as well which hopefully will come into the Gutenberg uh, core plugin as well so for example uh, can you see these three dots here if you click on that you can duplicate blocks which is really useful um, you can also remove blocks from here and you can move blocks actually we can do that anyway and you could sorry you can also open block settings here which actually it does the same thing if you click on it but the main difference really is the useful stuff for me is to be able to duplicate. I mean, that's really cool. Look at that, I'm just duplicating blocks from the sideline. So that's called block navigation. It's like the Gutenberg list view on steroids. Okay, this final one isn't strictly Gutenberg related, but it's so useful I thought I'd include it because it will show you some Gutenberg stuff as well. So it's called WP Theme Detector. And basically what it does, it'll let you show, uh, you, you can put in any website and it'll tell you what theme they use to build it and it'll also have a good, like, a good go at telling you what plugins they use to build it as well. So you just pop in the website address, I'm putting in uh, chrislemmer.com, great website by the way, you should go and check it out if you want to keep up to date with um, all good things WordPress and it will trundle off and it will tell you how it was built. And here's the results. So we, at the top, it will tell us what theme it's using. So we can see that Chris is currently using the Bloxy theme on his website. And if we scroll down here, it will also tell us some of the plugins. Now, it won't tell you all the plugins, but it'll have a good go. 
Uh, but if you see some functionality on somebody else's website and you want to know how they built it, this is a fantastic way that you can go and start to sort of investigate how they did it. Did it. So there we go, there's my five top utilities for the Gutenberg block editor plugin. I hope you enjoyed them. If you found them useful, if you can give it a thumbs up, that would be fantastic. And if you want to see more Gutenberg videos from me, then hit the subscribe button and I shall see you very soon.